Great certified most accurate forecast in Central Texas. This is Fox 44 weather with Chief Meteorologist Mike LaPointe. The clouds are starting to thicken up here in Central Texas. We are watching a storm system. It's out to the west right now, but it is marching in our direction. Uh, by the uh, tomorrow morning, we're going to see some rain and maybe some thunder across the region. Right now, all is quiet. This is out in Colleen. Right now, our live Centex roof system sky tracker. It's on the rooftop of one Colleen Center. Current temperature is 71 degrees. You can see skies have become mostly cloudy right now, at least in Colleen. Our dew point has come up to 49 degrees. That number will continue to go up here uh, thanks to that moisture moving in out of the south and east. Other temperatures, 70 degrees in Waco and Temple, 65 in Mahia. Current temperature in Gatesville is right at 70 degrees and some clouds over toward Brownwood and 68. There is our weather system and again this is a strong front off to our west producing some showers, some uh, some stronger thunderstorms out ahead of it. Behind it some cold rain. There could even be a few flakes of snow there in the eastern parts of New Mexico. But here's our exclusive Viper radar. You can see the uh, orange boxes out there. As you know, those are severe thunderstorm warnings uh, in that region because not only of some very strong winds, but also a uh, hail one inch or larger. But again, just to get your reference uh, points for you. There's Wichita Falls. Uh, there's the Abilene area. That's all out ahead of the front. That's the front that's going to be moving our way and should be moving through by tomorrow morning. So let's time it out here. At midnight, mostly cloudy skies developing across our area here and a little moisture trying to move up from the south. So by tomorrow morning for your morning commute, the areas right along I-35 hit and miss with the rain. If not, you'll see a lot of clouds, kind of the same thing down the Brazos Valley, but the farther west you go, look at this. This is going to be some heavy rainfall. We're also looking at some thunderstorms in there as well. Not expecting severe weather, but again, a little hail can't be ruled out gusty winds and heavy rainfall with it. So if you have work or school that takes you west of I-35 early tomorrow morning, give yourself 15, 20, 30 minutes uh, to get there, extra time I should say, just because of the slower uh, go. And look at that moisture, it's causing the lower visibilities to move right across our area. By noontime, still some spotty showers, but the heavier rainfall on batch number one will be right along I-45 from Palestine down toward the Brazos Valley. Again, that's the front, but we've got the upper level low that's going to be spinning around. You can see the spin right there, the counterclockwise. That will give us round number two moving through. It looks like around five o'clock in the afternoon or so. Again, scattered showers, some isolated storms. Again, you know, temperature are only going to be in the 50s, so it's going to be rather cool, kind of a cold rain out there. But of course, we've got high school football that's getting ready to uh, get get going, getting playing, right? At 5 o'clock, at least heading out to the fields there. We uh, may be looking at not only some delays out there, but some wet fields uh, as well as uh, some cold conditions. And then as we go through uh, the overnight period, you can see that wrap around up there. The system finally begins to pull out. But on Saturday, of course, we've got the walk, the Alzheimer's walk down at Brazos Park East. A few sprinkles early in the morning, but it's going to be a cloudy day. The farther to the north and to the east you go, that's where the rainfall will be. How much rainfall? Again, computer estimates here. We're looking at maybe a one to two inch band across the region. So once again, some healthy rainfall, which will be awfully nice to see here in our area. Tonight's forecast, those clouds are definitely increasing. Showers and storms developing overnight, 55 degrees, the low temperature. And then periods of showers and storms tomorrow with some heavy rainfall, 62 degrees. That's a morning temperature and then temperatures will fall. As we look ahead, this is the Daniel Stark long range 10 day forecast. Once we get through the weekend, Halloween looks good in all of next week. We're going to warm it back up here for November. And again, it's next weekend when we fall back, turn the clocks back. Nighttime lows will be in the 40s and 50s and then down toward the Brazos Valley. Good chance of rain, especially in the morning and in the afternoon. By Saturday and Sunday, we're quiet. And then as we hit the afternoon hours next week, we're going to see those temperatures climb into the upper 70s.